Greetings everyone and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant and this is the news from Kyungi Province this week. Kyungi Province will relocate the Northern Kyungi Single Parent Support Center to Suwon City. Following the expiry of the contract with the existing center operator, the province commissioned a new operator for the center, which will be relocated to the Family Health Support Center in Suwon. With separate facilities for northern and southern provincial regions, the single parent support centers provide comprehensive customized support, including child rearing and employment services. Last year, the number of assaults on fire officials in Kyungi Province showed a year-on-year -year increase of 18%. This is the result of the Kyungi-do Fire Service's zero-tolerance response to such assaults, including minor cases that previously went unpunished. With the exclusion of excuses from punishments for individuals due to mental or physical weaknesses, from January, the Kyungi-do Fire Services will continue to stand firm against assaults on fire officials. This year, Kyungi Province and the Kyungi Tourism Organization plan to promote industrial tourism. This new tourism model utilizes industrial sites and products that possess distinctive cultural and social values as tourism resources. Industrial tourism maps are now available from the Kyungi Tourism Portal, Nuriji. The Kyungi-do Living Technical School, a vocational school for middle-aged individuals, has begun recruiting students for the first half of 2022. Operated with the participation of 17 educational institutes, including a number of universities, this school offers 37 life-related education courses, including dementia prevention, leatherworking, and building management, as well as basic and on-site education for starting new stages in life. Any interested resident of Kyungi Province age 50 to 69 can apply for admission by post or email as well as in person. From this year, Kyungi Province will pay a monthly life support benefit of 50,000 Korean won to first generation atomic bomb victims. The support program is aimed at ensuring the right to life of Korean victims of the atomic bombs dropped on Japan in 1945, alleviating their economic burdens, including medical expenses. Those eligible can apply for the benefit at the city, county or neighborhood office having jurisdiction for their registered place of residence. This year, Kyungi Province transferred its Physical Laborer Rest Facility Improvement Support Program to cities and counties and increased the planned number of beneficiary sites from the 23 of last year to 72 this year. The transfer was implemented so as to better respond to anticipated increases in related demand after rest facility establishment becomes mandatory for business owners from August. With 19 cities and counties of the province participating, support will initially focus on social welfare facilities, SMEs, and senior nursing hospitals. Support of up to 20 million Korean won per site will be provided for facility improvement and up to 30 million Korean won per site for new facility establishment. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.